Hey there, it's Tanya, Transformational Psychology Coaching. Today I'd like to share about the most powerful times of day. Uh, there's two each day. And these times are in the morning when you're waking up and in the evening when you're falling asleep. These are times you can actually spend creating the life that you want and, and getting clarity on how you want to spend those precious, precious moments is, is a worthwhile endeavor. So just to flesh it out a bit, when you wake up in the morning, your brain is still in what they call theta state. So the frequency uh, brain waves are theta, sometimes gamma. Uh, what does that mean? Gamma is the brain state that uh, Jason Bourne was in, for example, um, in the Bourne Identity series. So you can you know, walk into a room and absorb every detail. Um, and basically you're using the 90% of your brain that they say we don't typically use. So in the morning, that is what is on still. And what do we do? Well, I know what I do. I typically reach for my phone, even if it's just to shut off the alarm. Um, so that hijacks, and don't think they don't know it, that hijacks the most precious power that you have all day that hijacks the most precious creative power and sets the tone for your day um, talk about programming right so what can you do instead you could spend some time I actually keep a paper and a journal and pen near my bed and you can spend some time writing um, and you'll be surprised at what you remember actually and even as you write these things, what I've discovered is when I go back and read what I've written months later, I don't even remember writing what I wrote. Um, and it's often very insightful and really helpful to some situation I'm navigating or some experience that I'm having or something that's going on in my life. Um, so... Another thing you could do is spend that time in meditation or prayer. The yogis and um, the ancients, a lot of cultures, a lot of, you know, many paths, one truth, right? A lot of religions, um, they, they have a sac deemed this time as sacred. Um, the, I, think it, I believe it's the yogis call it the ambrosia hour, and that is the dessert of the gods, right? So um, it's that sacred. It's it sets the tone, the momentum, the energy, the theme for your entire day. Um, and decide how you want to use it. Um, and perhaps use an alarm clock, an old-fashioned alarm clock. Or get some structures in place that you decide whether you want to be hijacked, your consciousness to be hijacked. And, and if not, then you can, you know, like one of the suggestions like I mentioned is a journal and uh, you can jot notes down and remnants of your dreams you can meditate you can pray it's that sacred it's your power this time is your power let's take it back have a beautiful rest of your day bye